two, three, thumbnail time. <clears throat> all right <clears throat> we'll open the video to me doing this so we'll look all cute and coupley <gasps> think of the clout babe no what clout <laughs> i mean crabs <laughs> yeah your pussy smells like fish so i wouldn't <sighs> be surprised hey everyone how's it going my name is elias welcome back to my channel into this reaction we are finally watching and finishing this fucking trilogy <laughs> after we fell but together we have finally come to the end thank god because i this series is by far the worst worse than twilight in my opinion well you like twilight i liked twilight way better than this series ever could so well maybe this movie might change your mind doubtful <laughs> if this movie does change your mind at the end we'll have sex how about that we <gasps> will reenact everything notice how i've never said we will reenact this it's always you we will reenact whatever they do if i like this movie okay there you go my word is on camera so mm -hmm. there you go no turning back you only know what this last movie is about. Just know that. Look how clingy she is. All the time. I know. This movie, you know, this franchise just gets me in the mood, you know? This, 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 after we fell. After we us. fell. Yeah. It's about us. So before we get further into the reaction, a message from today's video sponsor. Cue the clip. Thank you to Babel for sponsoring today's video. So we are back, continuing on with the legacy that is after and still continuing on learning the French language for the summer season. So summer is officially here. Vacation season is upon us, which means new places, new people, and all the new experiences that the summer months bring. Honestly, what better way to start the new summer season and learn a new language to get ready and prepare yourself for all the summer adventures ahead and that ladies and gentlemen is where Babbel comes in. So I worked with Babbel previously before and today is no different. So Babbel teaches real world and practical conversations that you can use in travel, business, as well as in connections and relationships. All of their lessons essentially are contrived of short 10 minute interactive exercises, which by the way are all designed by real teachers. It's also scientifically proven that it can get you speaking a new language in just three weeks. There are also a ton of ways to learn from podcasts, games, videos, lessons, and live classes from top teachers. It also teaches you about that language's culture, its people, their history, and so much more. Think holidays, slangs, traditions, food, and drink, it has it all. New. New. Il. 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 Tu. Oui, je vais bien. Et les enfants? Babbel is super fun, simple, and easy to use. They even offer a 20-day money-back guarantee. If you guys are interested and want to learn a new language for the summer season, you guys can check out and click on the link below to get 65% off your subscription. Once again, everything will be linked below, and thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Alright, and with that being said, let us go ahead and get straight into the reaction. Voltage pictures. I wish we died by voltage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, more abuse. I can't tell you how good it is. Well, if he was a shitty dude, why even bother? This to see you again, Tessie. Don't call me Tessie. There's towels in the bathroom if you want to take a shower. Damn, she's saying he fucking smells. You think he's a dilf? The dad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, ew. <laughs> Some people are into that. You, know, you were quite the cook, Tessie. Wow, we've never seen her cook in her life. <laughs> her dad had to become a hobo <laughs> for this to happen. Oh, you know. Oh, okay, he cleaned up pretty nice. Oh, now you want to fuck the deal. Would you want an overprotective boyfriend? Hell no. You may as well just take this and be on your way. Oh my god. <laughs> Heart is like, shoo, leave. <laughs> Honestly, it is kind of sus. Yeah. The dad is like, a hobo and then all of a sudden he's coming to his daughter dirty like that Th that's weird isn't it how come you didn't try to make amends when you were not a homeless person yeah you know like clean up after yourself before you came and visited her i forgot they were still in college <laughs> have they ever like studied or took any tests never 
I feel like she, her hair changed too. Yeah, his hair changed too. I'm gonna have to start watching the Kardashians Wait, to get my fill of drama. Th that's a different actor. Landon? That's what? a different actor. Landon. That's the guy from Sabrina. Um, the TV oh. series. So much time has like <laughs> passed. Uh, yeah. Is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> what if Harden came up and it was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> You're not my stepbrother. You should have asked Landon because he seems to know a hell of a lot more than I do. Not today, Satan. I am. <laughs> I like not today, Satan. <laughs> I like... response to everything you say. <laughs> I like how the original Landon was just like, fuck this. Yeah. I can't do three movies. <laughs> he left. She looks so different with like blonde hair. They both hair. look different. Yeah, this is so weird. They look more polished. She looks like a sorority girl now. Right? It's more like a TikTok star. Yeah, he does. This is so weird. <laughs> I feel like we're in some alternate universe. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how different Trevor looks. Oh my god, Hardy is still the fucking same. You know, I was rooting for you at the end of the second movie, but... Yeah, when you did that, I was like, hmm, not sure. Oh my god, this dad is here too. Oh. Yeah, they let they're letting him stay over. Wow, Ooh, her kitchen. Look at that kitchen. She looks really happy. What if he keeps on swiping and then he sees other photos? <laughs> Dick pic. <laughs> hey, you're bigger than me. <laughs> I wonder like how people are into like ice play. Imagine how I would act. I'm like, oh, it's too cold. <laughs> oh, transition to the kettle to signal her climax. That's called artistry one thing that they've done <laughs> in this whole trilogy. His tattoos are so ugly. <laughs> Do you agree? That That's fucking ugly. They literally look like pen drawings. I'm happy for you, but I don't. I don't have anything there. You'd have me. Okay, that's not enough. Okay, vice versa, bitch. Yeah. No, the new one. What the fuck? She's in here too. Um, I don't know her. Carabelle Cabell? Or Ariel Kebble? Mm -mm. I don't know her. She's from the Vampire Diaries. She's in like a few chick flicks. Oh my god, he's from True Blood. He's uh, st stuff in something. I don't watch those shows. Besides, I prefer to get a settled up there while Christian. Okay, I don't know any who these people are in this. Yeah, where, did what we miss something? What happened to like yeah, Vance so and like the yeah. other people? Trevor. Yeah, maybe they're in Seattle now. It just wasn't something I wanted to deal with. And remember, at the time, I had no idea you were going. Now you can Stop. ask him. You can have a job there now. Solution yeah. solved. Bam, done. Movie over. Imagine if we just started watching this one first. <laughs> and <laughs> that we're down. <laughs> oh yeah, we watched it out of order. <laughs> that would have been interesting. I feel like tonally, this movie feels different. Yeah. Because like it's the like more serious. Cin it's like more serious, more uh, cinematic. Cinematic is a strong word, but. <laughs> I feel like the beginning of the second movie was like more like goofy. Yeah. Like sure. ridiculous shit was happening. And now they're like, oh, what do we it's do? It's like a serious drama film. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Man, it must be so nice to be rich. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking cabin. Dude, this is how rich people take vacations. Oh, please. If anyone's a sugar daddy, let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> You've been gushing about Seattle since the day I first met you. Funny how we literally haven't heard her talk about Seattle at all till <laughs> now. I haven't any of her plans, any of her future life. All of a sudden, now it's like, oh, she's always wanted to go to Seattle. Oh my gosh. So pretty, right? So rich. I know. Huh. Who's that? Oh my god. He's friends with a non-white person? This is Tessa. Tessa Lillian. Hi. Nice dress. Not him being friends with ABGs. <laughs> Harden said, stop Asian hate. Too fancy. How about we whip you up something special? So stupid. It's literally just a waiter stop doing his job. Chill. He's literally just doing his job. So rude. Ugh. Obviously, you know, the creator of After, like she really likes men who are jealous. Cause that's like, oh my God. Oh, no. It's a toxic masculinity for me. He's so possessive over me. Guys, is there anyone down in the comments below Anyone who lives like this, please let me know. Invite me over. Invite me and Cindy. Mm -hmm. And we'll reenact the scene for you. Yeah, exactly. Girl, oh, relax. It's just doggy style. It's funny because they're so tame, but they're acting like it's like, oh my God. It's literally just a bunch of face shots. Man, that was hella quick too. <laughs> oh my God, that was so fast. Part is quick. Did she even get like any pleasure out of that? It, it, it was never about her pleasure. <laughs> 
It's just whenever he finishes. Uh, what did he do with the condom? Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> the condom's lost in the jacuzzi now. We're still hanging on there. Oh, God. Does your moving to Seattle have anything to do with Trevor? Where the hell is Trevor? <sighs> Not this guy still being so insecure. Fucking Trevor. We barely even talk anymore. Nor. I was rooting for you both. Rooting for Trevor. Did you ever have feelings for him? Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> That's two questions. Just be honest. Okay, I'll be honest. Who the fuck is Lily? Oh! <laughs> there was a moment when... Bitch, you are so immature! Yeah, seriously? Pardon! Stop fucking leaving, you literally asked for the truth. Oh my god. He's Three movies so... in, he still has not learned. Harden, you are such a fucking pansy ass. He literally cannot communicate fucking at all. Fucking pussy. Oh my god. I would why... hate to be in a relationship with him. Dude, why ask a question if you can't handle the answer? Leave a message. He's not even there. It's just a call. Dude, that... No way. That, that that's so immature. Oh my god. Girl, leave his ass. Yeah. Move to Seattle. Be with Trevor. Exactly. You don't need his you don't need the stupidity in your life. At least Trevor can maintain a conversation. Alright, time to fuck Landon, I guess. Maybe that's why the actor left. He was like, I can't <laughs> I can't do this scene. Oh. Oh, here we go. I can't get over how he literally left. In the middle of her talking. That's so fucking rude. That's so rude. You know what? If he gets pissed at her for doing this and hanging out with another guy. Where, where are you, going? You, you remember Robert, yeah. right? I remember Robert. I'll do an old fashioned, actually. <sighs> I'm off, actually. He's so fucking rude. I hate that. Don't treat people like that. Yeah. Dude, I would be so embarrassed if I was dating someone who treated, like, a waiter like shit. Give me a call. Or don't. Is he like the other guy now because they couldn't get Cole Sprouse in the third movie? No, I like Trevor. I know, that's, that sucks. Rip Trevor, you will be remembered. But he deserved better anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, she's keeping the number. Hmm. I would keep the number too. My boyfriend treated me like that. Stupid. Mm. Well, I'm not here to play games. Break up with him then. Exactly. <laughs> but she's still with him and she kept the number. I was a hot tub. Mm. Oh my god, is a condom still in there? That's so disgusting. He's so immature. At least fucking talk to her. I can. He's he's so annoying in this movie. He got way more annoying. Even the way he packs is annoying. <laughs> they don't want to be your fucking friends, okay? They don't want to be your fucking friends, okay? Friends. They don't want to be your fucking, fucking friends, friends, okay? You don't trust me. You don't trust anyone. You just control them. Period. Mm hmm. The irony is I've got you the damn job in the first place. <laughs> that is kind of ironic. <laughs> How many freshmen do you know with jobs at top publishing firms, their transfers taken care of, places to live? It is true. She did basically get this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the way he's like, like bringing this back up, it's just not it. I mean, honestly, I'm annoyed with both of them. I won't give up Seattle for you, so you just turn on me. That's also a good point. The way he's handling some, like, it's all him, I think. Because she's trying to, like, be more open and honest. He just jumped out the hot tub. The way he's yeah. treating the waiter. I mean, his yeah. attitude, he has an attitude problem. He, I mean, he, she does too. She annoys yes. me, but he annoys me more. He is scared of losing you. He loves you and he knows that you're the best thing. Oh my god, don't even say that. Don't even say it. See, this, he's just enabling this shit. I liked how we're not even talking about the other dad anymore. Bye. <laughs> the storyline's done. Everyone's, everyone tells her like, oh, you make him so happy. Oh, you changed his life, blah, blah, blah. But what is he doing for her? Exactly. He's such a, like an immature child. I'm sorry, I... No. They're the reason I'm here in the first place, and I don't want any more help. Oh, so he's like selectively getting handouts now? He's literally everything in his life is a handout. Now he's gonna draw the line? Honestly, at this point, I think the right thing for them to do would probably will be like to maybe take a break and just let them thrive in their own space and then get back together again once they're both mature and grown up a little bit. No, I, I agree. As someone who was also in like a toxic relationship in college. I also think it's so dumb how they're saying like, oh, she earned this, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, well, she only got that position because of those connections when there's like probably tons of more deserving people who didn't get those opportunities that she did. 
I don't know. I think in a way they deserve each other because they're both annoying. <laughs> hey. The way I have no idea who these people are. Yeah, they're just like brand new characters they added. This whole movie is so white. Except for that one sapphic Asian. And I wish I could run up to my rich friend's employer's house. Right? Show him the crown. Oh my god, that's in fucking Seattle? Dude, if you think about it, all the places she's been like staying and like depending on have all been like rich people. So wait, I don't get it. Is she moved for a job or a school or both? I have no idea. I've stopped trying to follow any kind of plot. No text or anything. Wow, she lives rent free in this place? That's incredible. That is incredible. But hey, it's not perfect. She's lonely too. Yeah, but who the fuck are these people? We need to meet them in the second movie. I know. Do we miss something? No, they're literally new characters. Probably because so they couldn't weird. get like Trevor or anyone back, so they just added new characters in her so workplace. Weird. Of course. Oh God, talk to him! Yeah, of course. I cannot stand these two. <laughs> <laughs> they are the worst people in the relationship I've ever seen. <laughs> Jesus. Answer your damn phone, stupid bitch. I didn't mean to hang up. Uh -huh. Shut the fuck up. I think you did, Tess, and I know exactly why, because... You're stupid and insecure. Okay, not only would Harden had done the same thing, he would have like probably thrown the phone and like smashed it. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's always sorry. And then he does the same shit all over again. The cycle repeats. That is what a the real- fuck? Oh, wow. I was like about to say, what is this school? Yeah, right? Okay, if she's in Seattle, where's Trevor? I think she might be onto us, darling. Wait. That's Vance, right? Didn't he propose to some blonde girl? Is that supposed to be like a new actress or what? I don't get it. I thought Vance was with another. Oh, you might be right. These are two new two new actors with playing the same characters as the last movie. But didn't they have a son? Yeah. He had a son. And then he, yeah, he proposed to her with his son, remember? That is so fucking weird. This whole movie had new actors, new Landon, new Vance, and new Kimberly. This is so weird. The fact that, <laughs> the way we thought these were new characters. But, but they, she, she looks nothing like the original. I guess they're not really trying to find original actors. But what happened to like their kid? I don't know. Good night, darling. No, you have to suffer like me. Wait, are we sure these are the same characters as the previous movie? Well, they called him Vance. Mm -hmm. And we remember Vance from the other movie. That was his name? Yeah, that was his name. Oh. It's just funny the way we thought we're like, oh, it's two new characters. And we're like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> and they're playing the same old characters from the last movie. Are you drunk? I was hanging out with Vance. But it's weird. Like, she literally gets to live in the house as, like, her boss. Yeah. That's unheard of. Yeah, that's very weird. I'm on my third? I'm on my third. <laughs> Come here. I miss you. I miss you too. They both talk in very funny ways, but like in total opposites. She's like, Come here. I miss you. And he's like, I fucking miss you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I fucking love you! <laughs> <laughs> fucking surprise! Are you with these fucking idiot <laughs> British accents? <laughs> That's how he talks. Okay. Oh, hey, there's the sun. Can you imagine if they changed the actors? For <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be so funny. The third movie, completely different. <laughs> All different actors. That would be so funny. <laughs> She's like, bitch, you went through my personal things. You're a brilliant writer, Tess. I wouldn't call her a brilliant writer. Yeah, a brilliant Wattpad writer. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate myself for making you feel that way, but I'm sorry. He always says that. I'm sorry. He always says that. I'm sorry. Literally, but what has changed? Nothing. What, so is this his new trauma oh now? God. Sure that they're fine. Come on, I'm hungry. 
Oh my god, I can't stand this dude. <laughs> so stupid. Now, now he's like having problems that like don't even exist. They're just like imaginary <laughs> problems. <laughs> she didn't even cheat on you in real life. <laughs> Here we go. Montage number three of the sex scenes. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Yes, Cindy. Fuck me till you forget about that dream. Mm -hmm. All right, let me know next time you have a nightmare. And then... That's my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine without the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna get fucking pregnant. Oh my god. That's how we get after four. No! Dude, can you imagine if they had a baby? That baby would have the shittiest communication skills ever. You know what I want to see? I want to see them in Scream. <laughs> I was going to say some, some of that. The way I know for a fact that she would not survive. I know, but it'd be so funny if she got the fucking phone like, call. What's your favorite scary movie? She'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> and then she would look outside and he's fucking tied up to a chair all dead and bloody. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about. I forgot about the dad. Forgot about the dad. They kind of just dropped that. And you know, it's been one of my biggest dreams. I forgot that his dad is the chancellor yeah, of the school. Too. I also can't tell if that's the same actor. We're or not. literally watching the POV of rich, privileged children. <laughs> yeah. I love you so much. I love you. Okay, cool. The conflict has been resolved. Movie about to be over soon. Ugh, the way I'm so disappointed that this Trevor I know. never showed up. Like, at least close it off, but nothing. They you couldn't even get the actors back. They still need to resolve whatever the deal is with the dad. That's true. Like, why did he leave? How did he come back and find her? Like, what's his problem? Who does he owe? And also, like, is her not being able to get pregnant, like, a problem? And everything would be resolved in 15 minutes. <laughs> what if it ends on a cliffhanger? Goodbye. She's having that white girl moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's so simple. He's like, ooh, sexy. Ooh, hot. What the hell's gonna happen with her dad? <laughs> There's like so many like random ass plot threads. Wait, what the fuck? I know the soundtrack because I play it in my vlogs. What if I wake up happy? And what if I this? Yeah. This song? Yeah. That's so funny. Oh my god, it was royalty free too. <laughs> Oh, I guess- It was free! <laughs> oh! <clears throat> I knew there was something going on with Vance and the mom. Remember? In the second movie, I said, I bet they have a history. Okay, that was a plot twist. I completely forgot that how Vance was super sketchy. And so when I saw that, I was like, holy remember, fucking shit. Remember in the second movie, I was like, there's yeah. something going on with Vance. I feel like he's sketchy. And I remember when she mentioned uh, Vance. It's, a, it's because the way they switched the actors for me. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. That is terrible. I don't get Like, if you were literally going to get married the next day, why would you cheat? I don't understand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's still going it? Come on, bitch. And what kind of wedding dress is that? Oh, my God. Wait, she knows? Maybe. Okay, if you were in this situation, would you tell? Yes. You would tell them? Mm -hmm. Because... You, you would tell the guy and you would tell the, the wife with the baby? Yes. You know, I would have seen this coming if they didn't switch up the actors. <laughs> For the longest time, during halfway through the movie, we were like, they're playing completely different actors like or characters. So we're like, who are they? <laughs> Her coat is cute. Oh, yeah. Vance is a different actor because the guy used to be the guy from... Um, to get it with murder. Yeah. Men ain't shit. Truly. You. Truly. Harden is Christian's son. What do we fucking say? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> are you fucking... Are you fucking joking? You're my fucking father. My fucking father's a fucking American. In it. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong, beep beep, get on the fucking road. Maybe they'll get hit by a car, <laughs> and that's how the movie like never continues. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 no. Are they gonna find each other? No, no, no. And you have to end it here. No! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was a fucking 
trilogy. <laughs> no, you gotta be shitting me. I literally. To be fucking continued. I hate it here. The way I only said we would only do three movies. No! <laughs> it never ends. I was gonna be like, okay, you know what? This third movie was actually not that bad as I thought it would be. It never ends. Fuck this. We are done. Everyone, we are done. Bye bye. No more. Um, I'll, I'll watch the fourth movie for the clout. Oh my god, I cannot believe. I literally thought there was only gonna be one movie or three That's movies. That's crazy. That's crazy. The way we thought it was gonna be a trilogy, right? Are you fucking kidding me? A fourth and prequel and development. <gasps> Oh, you gotta be shitting me! Oh, there's a trailer for it too. We <gasps> react to it. Should we? It's sure. only thirty-seven seconds. Why the Why the fuck not? All right, guys, we are reacting to After Ever Happy, the fucking fourth movie of this franchise. <laughs> Ready? I thought we had a love that was out of the novel. More sex. What is new? Not this shit again. What? No. September seventh. This year. Clearly, this, this shit never fun. ends. Don't. I'm like, oh my gosh, what movie is this? 365 DNI. I heard like it's bad though. Really? Yeah. Like, how but bad? I, I don't know. I've just heard that it's bad. And I think it's in Italian as well. <gasps> Polish erotic romantic oh, drama. Polish. Film. The plot follows a young woman in a spareless relationship falling for a dominant man who imprisons and imposes her on a period of 365 days. Oh my god, this is like a fucking Wattpad story. This sounds like every fan fiction come true, come to life. Yeah. Oh my god, I would sit down and watch this. Well. There's a fucking sequel for it too. But holy fucking shit, the way I literally thought this was a fucking trilogy. Dude, I got me too. fucking fooled. Me too. Oh man. I, fu I fucking hate it here. The way I was like, everything's gonna be resolved in the next 20 minutes. Oh my god. That, I'm fucking dead. Cindy. <laughs> I like how. Oh my god. The, the way, that's why we binged this shit. Only for us to find out that there's gonna be a fucking fourth and a prequel. That's crazy. That's wild. Let's make the fourth one to a drink game. If every time they have sex, we take a shot. Oh, oh or like a montage. We take a shot. I'm just gonna say this though, that this third movie was the most entertaining of the, the three that we've watched. Really? So I still think the second one was more entertaining. No. The second one was so... It, was it had Trevor. Shitty. You know what? Trevor was the only good one. Mm. I'm going to give this one two stars, too. I just thought the the fucking plot twist that I didn't see coming because they switched the fucking actors. <laughs> fucking forgot. The, it's just so funny to me because we literally watched like more than half the movie. We're like, who are these fucking characters? Are they new? Yeah. <laughs> what did we miss? <laughs> I would have so much fun editing this. That would be like, oh my god. But yeah, so that was the third fucking after movie. <laughs> Thank you guys, because I sincerely thought this was a trilogy, but I guess not. Yeah, fourth one is gonna come out this come year. Out. It's not gonna come out for a while though. So after uh, four reaction and a prequel, prequel to, for what? Who who do you think the prequel would be based on? Oh, maybe about um, Harden's real dad and mom, right? Ew, why? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like a similar relationship. <sighs> no. Maybe maybe it could be a prequel about um her and her and Noah her brother. Ew, nobody gives a <laughs> nobody gives a shit about that exactly. Guy. See, nobody gives a shit about this. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. The there... fact that they brought in this random ass waiter for a stand-in for Trevor kind of is just ah, man. They did Trevor dirty. Rip Trevor. No, he probably deserved. He deserves way better, and I'm pretty sure he's living his best life dating some other wholesome girl. So. Yeah, and Cole Sprouse was like, eh, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. But anyways, that is the after reaction for a while. So I guess you won't be seeing us reacting to the fourth and fucking final movie until like the end of the year. But yeah. a few that we are looking forward to reacting would probably be Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy, I mm -hmm. think. And I kind of want us to react to the uh, 365 yeah. DNI. Let's do it. Let's called. do it. <laughs> We're just going to watch all these trashy erotica movies until we finally reenact one of them. Mm, that'll be the day, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, thank you, Cindy. This will be the last video we'll be filming for a while. Next time we're together, after four. Oh my god, can't. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all soon in a new video. Bye! I'm fucking bamboozled. Like, I cannot believe- How could they pull off another fucking movie? Because there's so so many like unanswered like yeah like her dad her dad her not being able to get pregnant and like his new dad or yeah it's, it's a plot twist would you move to a new city for your boyfriend.
things. Um, I'm going to be in a relationship, I'm going to invest in it. The benefits are good of the job is, you know, rotation is necessary. Well, you have to find a job there. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything depends on everything. Okay, okay you am going to get a raise if I move over there. My... No, you have to find a new job. And usually people don't figure that out until after they move, right? Uh, no, I thought it was the other way around. Like, you, get a job, you find a job at first before you move to the city. Not always. Yeah, like some people here before they move to SF, they would have to get a job, like, have a job here before they move. If, if they move for their significant other, not always. I mean, most of the time you would want to move to a new job secure. Yeah. At least if you have a job in your place, you can work remote. Okay, what about you've been dating for him for one year and he has to move for his job and you can still work at your same job because it's remote. And he, but he's moving to like Seattle. Only one year? No, long distance. I'm not moving. I'm not moving with a guy after one year of dating. Two years? Two, two years? No. Two years? Three years? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Three years of dating and then maybe like another two years of living together before we get married. Maybe the ending of this movie will be like them going to the wedding. Yeah.